Hey, so we're just off to pick up our brand new car now, our Ram 1500. So we're pretty excited. It's been a long time coming. Um, so yeah, we'll let you know how it goes and update you with a video later on. Bye. So that was on pickup day. You can tell we were a little bit excited at the time. We've now had the Ram for coming on a, a couple of months. Um, so we're just gonna tell you a little bit about what we like and what we don't like and why we, why we chose it. Um, I guess the first thing was we bought the van, the JB Dirt Road Extreme. Um, we bought that before the car, so it's the, the car that we needed was very dependent on the weights of the van. So the van was a three and a half ton fully loaded, so we needed a car which is able to tow that. The second reason really was that towing capacity. We wanted something that wasn't going to be borderline. We wanted something that could tow that weight and more. So we were never unsure of whether we were overweight at any one point in time. Yeah, so this, the ram itself can tow up to four and a half tonnes. So with our van, we were left with a couple of options. We narrowed it down to the 200 series Land Cruiser or the Ram. We went to and fro on those for quite a while and we, add, we asked a few questions in forums which were really, really helpful. And it was an overwhelming response of Ram, really. Yeah, the, the 200 series is, was borderline, um, whereas the Ram has the extra capabilities of going up to the four and a half ton. We only need three and a half ton towing capacity, so it was a no-brainer. And that comes to the next reason we didn't have to do any kind of upgrades to the Ram. If we did go with the Land Cruiser 200, we'd have to do a GBM upgrade and, and yeah. make some modifications which weren't looking good on time frames or on cost at that point in time. Yeah, um, so yeah, the, 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 that's three of the reasons. The fourth reason, I guess, would be the availability. Um, we went into a Ram dealership and they, they actually had three cars um, which were on a boat from America. Um, so we were, we were able to pick it up within the three month two, three month time frame that we were looking at. And um, Land Cruisers just weren't available. We were looking at second hand, even those, the, 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 they were priced about the same as brand new. Um, so, and we, we couldn't get a new one. And even if we did get a new one, we'd have to do the GVM upgrades. And just with our time frame, it just wasn't, wasn't doable. We had to pick up the van prior to that. So, um, so yeah, the Ram it was. And it's black because the three coming over on the boat from the US were black. So we, we, had, we, we, we had, had no, no option, no option <laughs> yeah. but we're quite happy with it. Yeah, 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 it worked out worked out really nicely. Yeah, we didn't we didn't have the options to do any kind of upgrade. Oh, we, could, we had some options for upgrades, but we couldn't we didn't we couldn't pick um, colours. We couldn't pick um, the type interior. The interior, yeah. yeah. It, it was the Express, which is the base model, and that's mm -hmm. the only option that we had. And we only had the, the colour black. So, but we love it. It's been great. So we're going to go back to pick up day now and show you how that went and later on stay tuned because we will tell you the few upgrades we did choose for the Ram and some little mods we've been doing. So here we are at Gold Coast Ram dealership seeing our Ram Express for the very first time. Dan and I have never bought a brand new car before so when they asked us if we wanted balloons or bows we said yes bring them on yeah and as we said earlier we didn't have any choice um, as to what we were going to get model wise so we got the express and it's the quad cab this means um, basically that the uh, we, we get an extra you get the extra length on the tub and lose a little bit of space on the rear seats which we were we were okay with the other thing about buying a new car meant that we get three years worth of warranty from Ram. So that's just great, for, just for peace of mind, just knowing that if we have any issues within those first three years, they're going to be taken care of. It has a Hemi 5.7 litre V8 engine, so there's plenty of power, plenty of torque. It's an 8-speed automatic transmission 
and fuel economy was, was similar to the 200 series at around 12.2 litres per 100 and that will obviously go up when we're towing the van, we're yet to figure that one out. We did have many options for upgrades with this RAM, um, one of which was changing the seat covers or material, but we, we liked what it came with on its base model, so we went with that. As you can see, it's quite spacious in the interior. We've got the special RAM mats in there, which are pretty cool. One thing we might do is update the mats in the future. That's just a quick look at the interior. The other thing we opted in for was this cover. This was an optional extra. Yeah, it's great. This just keeps everything in the back secure. So if I have any of my tools in there, um, just means that they're, they're locked up nice and safe and just keeps them out of the element. And two people are doing it here, but one person can close that cover and lock it easily on their own as well, which is handy. This is the salesman driving it out of the showroom. As you can see, they've folded in the mirrors there because it is quite a wide vehicle. It's not a car, it's a truck. Yeah, it's, it's a lot wider than your, your standard vehicle, so you do have to take that into account, especially when you're parking in a, a standard car parking space. This is the first big, big, big moment in our journey. Oh, <laughs> You getting you getting in the car then? Here we go. Oh. <laughs> I didn't lock it. It was automatically. You're gonna film me getting in. No. Yes, you are. <laughs> I won't film you. <laughs> Should we have bought the step? <laughs> As we mentioned before, the RAM is wider and longer than your standard vehicle. So this is a good visual to show you how it does fit into a standard car space. The overall length is very close to six meters long and the width is close to two and a half meters. So that gives you some sort of a comparison to a standard car. It's, it is a lot bigger, as you can see, it's a very large vehicle. Because of the width of the car, we were told that we wouldn't need any extra length mirrors to see around the back of the van. Um, but after doing some calculations, the, the ram itself um, being 2.5 metres wide, we found out that the width of the van itself was also 2.5 metres wide. So legally, we do need the extra length on the mirrors. So we opted to buy some ones you can just attach on and they work really well. Yeah, it makes a, a huge difference. So there's a few things we've ordered for the RAM and a few little upgrades and things we've done to improve it. The first and most obvious thing are the electrics for the RAM to connect into the van. Yeah, we needed an extra Anderson plug. Um, we needed a connector for our Safety Dave rear view camera, which goes on the back of the, um, the caravan. So we took it to an auto electrician, he put all those in. 
We also opted to increase the fuel tank, so we've got that on order. The Ram came with a 120 litre fuel tank and we are getting a 200 litre fuel tank installed in March. Yeah, that's just really good for peace of mind if we're doing long, long trips. Um, we might just need that extra range. And because it's an unleaded vehicle, it just saves us having to carry that on board with yeah, us. for safety reasons as well. Yeah. The other thing we have ordered are bull bars from ARB. So now we're gonna show you some footage of the other upgrades that we have currently already done to the Ram. So the Ram came with the back two windows tinted, but not the front. So we took it to Saganto Drive in Helensvale to Black Diamond Tinting. We opted for the second darkest level of tint, which is also what 90% of people have for the front windows. You don't want it too dark, and for legal reasons, I don't think you're allowed to have it the darkest anyway. And this is what it looks like after. It's much better. We'll pop the before photo in here so you can compare. We're really happy with the job. The other thing we did recently was get some marine gray carpet from Bunnings. Dan cut it down to size and it's just to provide an extra layer of protection for the tray. It's already got this special surface um, spray coating that was put on in Melbourne to protect it. But just sliding things in and out constantly in here, it will be easier on the carpet. And we've just put a Velcro on the edges to stop it from buckling when we slide things in and out. So we think it does the job going to be a great little protection for the tray. Okay, so we're just off for a bit of a drive to show you some of the features of the interior. Kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> and explain a little bit about how it differs from your standard towing vehicle. Have a kangaroo. <laughs> So all the Ram trucks get manufactured in a facility in the US and then they're shipped over to Melbourne, Australia where they get converted from left hand drive to right hand drive for Australian roads. So there's a few little things that we've noticed that this does affect. One's a very minor thing, but for females it is quite <laughs> annoying because the, the sun visors on the passenger side, there is no mirror here for me to check out myself and make sure I'm looking nice. <laughs> but on the driver's side, the driver can do that. <laughs> so that's something about the uh, left hand to right hand drive that they yeah, don't really address, which is very, very minor, but something that we noticed early on. The other annoying thing is the the handbrake. It's actually a foot a foot brake, and it's on the right hand side, which is very awkward because typically you have your left you're using your right foot for braking and accelerating, um, but then you've also got to use your right foot for the handbrake. So that's pretty annoying. I mean, you've got long legs. <laughs> yeah, long legs definitely doesn't doesn't help either. Um. This is an example of something else that differs from your standard Aussie vehicle. You have the indicator on the left hand side for both ways and windscreen, windscreen wipers are also there too so that does all of it on the left hand side. There's nothing at all on the right hand side is there? No, no stick there at all. No. The, and the other unique thing about this is the gears are actually on a dial. It's automatic, but you've got your, your dial to go between drive, park, reverse, and neutral. Um, one thing we would say is a negative is the screen in the Ram, in the Ram 1500. The screens do get bigger as the models go up in price, but this one, as a comparison with my hand, it's quite small. And it does have a reversing camera on it as standard, but it it's not the best 
my Mazda CX-5 has a better reversing camera than this one. So that, that would be one negative that we've found so far. So as we said earlier, the reason we got the Ram 1500 mainly was because of its towing capabilities. And on the dash here, you can see it's already got all the towing controls that you need already inbuilt. And also you've got your four wheel drive, which would be really handy for us as well. Um, this is really handy on the passenger side to have this really big deep thing. You can put your phone or snacks or maps in. And then you've got a big storage compartment there too. And the center console is quite um, decent size. We've got three cup holders there. And this can actually be converted into a six seat too, if you wanted that. Um, but as it is, it's quite a handy storage area. And just so much space in the room. It's really wide. We're, we're quite far apart here. Lots and lots of space.